Good morning. Morning. So we're in Marseille today. It's a beautiful sunny day again. And we're joined here by the wonder of the sea. So we're going to go and try and see if we can get a nice shot of her later to share on Instagram. So stay tuned for that. Um, and we are also heading off today, a bit later, about lunchtime, on a excursion, hopefully, which is kind of cool. Uh, we're doing a just a guided tour around Marseille. And <laughs> we will uh, take you all with us. So stay tuned. See you in a bit. Bye. We headed up to deck 15 to take a sneaky peek at the wonder of the seas. Our tummies were rumbling, so we headed to the marketplace buffet for breakfast. Hello. So Josh went for the traditional combination of eggs, sausage, bacon, and cookie. That well-known tasted, tested combo, yeah, Josh? Yeah. Papa's gone for some toast and croissants and fruit. Because we're in France. I went for the bacon and omelette and some sticky bun because I'm going to try it and see if it's nice and we're being followed around the med as always we're at Costa Chef and Costa Fortuna we're joining port as well by NCL Gem I think it is a star uh, Caribbean Princess is here as well and then just over that way which we'll go and get a better shot in a minute is Wonder of the Seas the world's biggest ship I do believe According to Josh, it is the biggest ship in the world anyway. It's the biggest. Josh said it's huge. Is it huge, Josh? Yeah. What I, what I need to say is the food on Costa is much better. No, no, no. Unfortunately, the uh, sticky bun is rock hard. <laughs> I think it's sat under the light a bit too long. But, um, Josh is quite happily to eat it, so we're gonna go with Josh is eating it, and um, I'm gonna go and get a fruit bowl, I think. Never mind. Stick with what you know, I suppose. As our excursion wasn't until later in the day, we spent the rest of the morning enjoying the sunshine and exploring more of the ship. You wanna go in there? Yeah. <laughs> it looks nice and warm, doesn't it? Is it warm this time? So we're just about to head out and go to Marseille. Marseille. Uh, Marseille. And Josh is going to practice his French, is that correct? Yeah. Josh, are you going to practice your French, yeah? You're going to practice your French? Yeah? You're going to say, oui, oui, merci. Oui, oui. Yeah? yeah. Ooh la la. <laughs> and Bunny's going to... Where's Bunny? Uh, Where is he? Where's Bunny? Where? What? Right here. It's so sunny out here. What's going on out here? There he is. Oh, Bunny, Bunny, what are you doing sunbathing. out here? Oh, it's beautiful oh. out here. That's why Bunny's out here sunbathing. Oh, thank goodness he didn't go for another trip around Marseille. No free taxi rides around Marseille today, Bunny. No, not today. Yeah. We headed down to our coach and to meet our wonderful guide for the afternoon. Having a local guide is a fantastic way to learn the more unusual facts about an area. P-A-S-C-A-L-E, huh? it comes from Easter, Pasqua, huh? in Latin, okay? It's a Mediterranean name, huh? and uh, as you can see, I don't come from the northern countries, I'm really Mediterranean. Okay, so I'm very happy to welcome you today to sunny Marseille, huh? and uh, it's nice because uh, as this morning it was a little bit cold, uh, this afternoon it's perfect, huh? uh, and then the light is, uh, is perfect too. So we are uh, in the north of the city of Marseille, in the port of Marseille, this part, you know, called the commercial port of, uh, of Marseille. And we'll discover together, you know, the old uh, town of uh, Marseille, a part of the old town, and uh, uh, all the quarter of the old port. As we drove out of the port, we got some awesome views of the ships docked beside us. Marseille is divided into 111 districts, and today we would walk through the first district, Juliette. Walking along the promenade Robert Lafont, this area was reclaimed from the sea in the 19th century. 
you come to the city's museums of European and Mediterranean civilizations, hosting many artifacts and wonders from the region. As you enter, you're greeted by a statue of a giant two-faced orange bear, because why not? It's Marseille. In the distance, we could see the islands and the Chateau d'If. This was the setting for the Count of Monte Cristo. It's good. Can I record? No, it's fine. Let me just. Just watch your finger, their fingers don't go over. Right? Where's Dada? Where's Dada? Dada? Wait. Go back to Dada and wait. Yeah. Filming, filming. <laughs> Of course, no trip to Marseille would be complete without a trip to the soap shop. After all, Marseille is famous for soap, amongst many other things. Alors, the real one, you can read 17 to 30. Okay? This is the percentage of oil you need to prepare this special soap, okay? The white was made with oil of copra and palma. The green is made with olive oil. And then you add caustic soda, and then you add water. These are the three ingredients you need to prepare the soap of Marseille. The white one for laundry, the green one for skin. So sometimes you see, a, uh, you know, bottles of soap of Marseille, you know, liquids of, no, 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 uh, voila. Only soap on Marseille, this one, or you can find uh, uh, with a, another uh, shape. It's called the Marseille's bar, you know? <laughs> when you buy the soap, you cut it. Huh? And sometimes you have big, big, big pieces, you know, of, uh, of soap, like uh, Parmigiano skin, you know? And you cut it into pieces. So that's why the soap on Marseille, yes, I know, when you come back from a vacation and you offer a soap on Marseille, it doesn't look like a beautiful thing. <laughs> it's fantastic, <laughs> believe me. This soap is uh, simply fantastic because it's a vegetal, natural, you know. There is uh, uh, no uh, bad thing added. For instance, you know, the oncologist, uh, the, the doctor specialist in uh, cancer, they ask the patients who have uh, special treatments that like um, this already yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, to use oh, yeah. the green Thank soap you. of Marseille and to, to avoid the problem Thank of uh, burnt skin. No? Is it expensive? I don't know. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, it's not so for Marseille. <laughs> <laughs> Marseille originated the game of Patang, and there are many shops still specializing in the creation of the bulls for the game. Patang literally means feet together or anchored. The Church of Our Lady of Accoules is a former medieval church that was raised by fire during the French Revolution, killing all who sought sanctuary inside. Today, only the bell tower and back wall of the church remain as a monument to the tragedy that took place. The old port is one of 14 marinas in Marseille and probably the most emblematic of the site in the city. Once a busy trading port, the old port is now more famous for its yachts, luxury hotels and cafes that line the marina. The Avu port is a polished steel canopy designed to look wafer thin and many locals refer to it as the Bean of Marseille, lightening the sculpture to the Cloud Gate in Chicago. Being in Marseille, we are having cafe, ole, ole. and Josh has demolished his macaroons, his macaroons two macaroons. Yes. Tour's been quite interesting, hasn't it? Yeah. Really nice, really illuminating. Got a bag full of uh, a bag of goodies for goodies. the people at home. 
lavender, lavender Marseille soap, Provence soap, so yeah. Uh, herbs. <laughs> Herbe de Provence. Yep. Banana. Josh wanted to get Nana some Herbe de Provence. Yeah. So Josh, did you like walking around Marseille today? Yeah. What was the favourite bit of walking around Marseille? The Roman place? At first. The church, you meant? Oh, the yeah, church, at the, the cathedral, the Roman cathedral, yeah. part of the church, by the cathedral, yeah, that was nice. Just like those small streets and. Yeah? I would have thought. Narrow. They're narrow, yeah, they were narrow. I would have thought, Josh, your favourite bit would have been the macaroons. <laughs> of course, because you love food, don't you? And I'm still hungry. What? I'm still hungry. You're still hungry. Of course you're hungry. You're always Maybe hungry. Maybe we get back on the ship we have gelato or crepe. As we boarded the bus to take us back to the ship, we had a great view of the charity Christmas Santa motorbike rally. So we are just sailing out of Marseille and we've just passed, just gone out of view, but I'll put some video of it over seas. here, the Wonder of the Seas. It's enormous. Such a big ship. Oh, I mean, oh, <laughs> the size comparison between it and that ferry next to it is insane, but it's such a beautiful sail out from Marseille. We've had such a fun day today. We've been in the, um, into Marseille on a guided tour, walking tour. Actually, it was really good value for money. She was really informative and um, really helpful. So actually would really recommend it actually it was a really good trip and um yeah tomorrow we're in genoa we're not getting off in genoa i think we might do the slides if they're open and uh, a bit of a pool day and this evening we're off to l'atelier bistro if you're french as we're in france so why not and we'll take you along with us bye we had some spare time so tristan and josh had a quick dip in the outdoor atmosphere pool <sighs> won't catch me in there that's like freezing is it cold? Is it cold? So we're off to dinner and Justin just forgot his mask, so as always he's catching us up. We're off for dinner in the Telia Bistro. Josh has opted for no. kids club and a buffet later. No. No accounting for taste. So, we are running a tad late for Josh, you know, to get to kids, so we're under marching orders, hence he's racing off in front, but yeah. Hopefully dinner's gonna be better than last couple of nights in the main dining room. Yeah, it's been a bit off and on. I definitely it? hope it's better than Ola, because Ola was... Tapas was awful. The tacos yeah. and virtuos was amazing. Tapas here was... <sighs> Verging on inedible, so yeah, yeah. Mm. but um, yeah, hopefully, tonight is a bit yeah, nice. Hopefully, a good way to end our day in France with a French. nice French meal. Oui, oui. So, see you in a bit. Bye. Bye. So, we are at uh, L'Italia Bistro. This is one of our specialty restaurant meals. Yeah, well, yeah, on our dining back end. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can't determine whether we're in um, uh, Paris Cafe or Cafe Rouge. And it smells a bit like... Stale cigarettes. Stale cigarettes. <laughs> I don't know if they're pumping in stale cigarette smoke, but... It it's very authentic. definitely it? smells like stale cigarette from like 20 years ago in here. So Justin's French onion soup has turned up and the usual, I never understood why French onion soup turns up in such a disgraceful looking pot, but like, yeah. it's so nice. Go on, I want to see the cheese pull. The cheese what? The cheese pull. Oh my gosh, it's like, it's like cheese with a bit of soup in it. Um, we'll see how this goes for my lactose intolerance, but anyway. Mm. Hmm? You've got to pull the cheese up like you see me do it. Oh, do you have to pull it like a cheese pull? Yeah. Oh, it's a bit lumpy. That's the bread underneath. You just mashed up the bread. That's Sorry, it. guys. Oh, look at that. Oh, that. That's a good cheese pull. Grillo pull. <laughs> the grillo pull. 
see how it goes. My um, chicory salad looks pretty standard, but yummy enough. Mm. I want to see what you think. Mm. Hot, obviously. Mm. Very like lots of cheese. <laughs> lots of cheese. That's not a bad thing. Well, for me, maybe for you, yeah. We'll see how I'm faring later. <laughs> I'll hear about it later tonight. Thank you. What's the soup like? The actual onion soup is nice. It's really, yeah. really nice. And Justin has just discovered Grie is lactose free, so he's happily tucking into his lower lactose. Content, lower lactose, right? So I'm trying to. So he's we'll enjoying see. it a lot. And yeah. So our main course has arrived. Half chicken and chips with a ton of extra gravy, and Justin thinks his chicken is uh, doing a dance. He's giving um, a leg up. It's oh, <laughs> doing the can-can. It's doing the can-can. Can can. can can. I've just seen it now. One scene can't be forgotten. I can see that your, ch your chicken is doing the can-can. The can-can chicken. <laughs> Tristan's going back to his northern roots. I am chips and gravy. Chips and gravy. Chips and gravy. Oh gosh, I love chips and gravy. Relay test ready. Oh. No crackle, no, no crackle. crackle. <sighs> Disappointing. Oh, I can see it in your face actually, the disappointment. Where's the blow talk? That's the blow talk. Need to do it properly. <laughs> I'm sure it'll taste good. <laughs> Can't have a taste? Let's see what it tastes like. Hopefully it tastes good still. Mm, I need to burn the sugar on properly. You're disappointed. It's too grainy. It's a okay. Are they okay? Something's not right, aren't they? Nice. Um. Thank you. That's not it. Uh -huh. Clearly we're in the middle of something and he just butts in and, and removes plates and glasses Fitrol shouldn't be filled with ice cream. Oh, has it got ice cream in it? Yeah. Fitrol shouldn't, I'm sorry. Sorry if that's sacrilegious to some people. But Fitrol should not be filled with the ice cream. It should be filled with creme pat. And this is ice cream. Do you think it's been frozen, maybe? No, it's know. ice cream in the middle oh, really? of it. And they've kind of cut it open to put the scoop of ice cream in. Ah, uh, really? And it's lost that Fitrol taste, therefore, and nice and sweet. The chocolate ganache is lovely. Does it taste but okay though? The um, no. Really? Because you're getting pastry and then ice cream and then pastry mm. instead of having this blend of blended creme, creme pat and, and the, the in the particular mm. crisp. It's a bit So you're missing that bit. Yeah, I mean, French are well known for their desserts, and it's a bit of a shame the desserts just weren't. Some of the Italians. Yeah. Um. Although drink? it's been a nice meal. I feel very underwhelmed. Yeah. I feel very, very underwhelmed by the whole meal. Like, it, it's no better than, and this is just not awful, but than Cafe Rouge in the UK. Yeah. It, it's. I mean, your French onion soup was probably yeah, the okay. highlight. Yeah. It, it was good French onion soup. Yeah. A, a chef should be able to make good French onion soup. Yeah. I think for a French restaurant to mess up creme brulee and pizza rolls. Yeah, it's a bit sad, isn't it? MSC has some amazing dome shows. The Famous Ceilings of the World is probably our favourite one to watch.
It was almost midnight, so we picked Josh up from Kids Club and headed to the late night buffet as Josh was starving. Josh is having late night pizza and cake. Josh is having late night pizza and cake. Are you gonna be uncouth and eat with your hands or are you gonna eat with a knife and fork? Eat with your hand. Okay, but it doesn't go everywhere then. That's a big slice. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, like, comment, and share.